Earlier today, Hunter Biden was convicted of two counts of lying on a form submitted to a federal firearms dealer about his addiction or use of crack cocaine and possessing a firearm while a user or addict. There have been two overarching themes emphasized by the prosecution during trial, this defendant's illegal choices and the rule of law. First, while there has been much testimony about the defendant's abuse of drugs and alcohol, ultimately this case was not just about addiction, a disease that haunts families across the United States, including Hunter Biden's family. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction, his choice to lie on a government form when he bought a gun and the choice to then possess that gun. It was these choices and the combination of guns and drugs that made his conduct dangerous. Second, no one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. However, Hunter Biden should be no more accountable than any other citizen convicted of this same conduct. The prosecution has been and will continue to be committed to this principle and to the principles of federal prosecution in carrying out its responsibilities. 